All right, so we have some news here. So much so, in fact, I am sitting here in my car making the video. Wanted to get this one out quickly, so we're doing a car video here. I just wanted to give my thoughts on James Bradbury to the Philadelphia Eagles, which my immediate reaction is, wow, this is a pretty great fit for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, uh, my thing about James Bradbury, so I've always been a big fan of James Bradbury's game, even though if you watch this channel, you know I'm typically not a massive fan of slower corners in general. The reason why I'm not a massive fan of slower corners in general is I feel like they, you need to have a very specific scheme to make them successful. The Eagles run that kind of scheme, though, so it's not really an important thing to talk about with the, this situation because... The Eagles are a good fit for Bradbury, and I think that that's something that Bradbury probably had in his mind when he made the decision to go to Philadelphia, because, I mean, again, uh, apparently, according to Adam Schefter, there were 11 teams that initially reached out to Bradbury. He chose the team that he liked the best, and I'm assuming Scheme Fit had a decent amount to do with that. And for the Eagles, who could have used another, you know, star in the building, well, this is an opportunity to get a star in the building. So I find that you know, very interesting. He is someone who didn't have his best best year last year, but corners are very fluky. Year in and year out, they really, I mean, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Great corners have bad years. That's a very real thing. And this is a one-year prove-it deal. I'm assuming what Bradbury's doing is betting on himself a little bit. He's sitting here and saying, listen, I know I can play if I'm in the right scheme, if I'm in the right situation. I think Philadelphia will give me an opportunity to be in that good situation. Not to say that he couldn't be good in a bad situation, but, you know, put him in the best position possible to have a good year and then get a big contract the following year. That seems to be a bit of what his philosophy is here. And I think it would make some sense. And for Philadelphia, I mean, this is a great move. I mean, A, it's $10 million. If you get a star corner, you know, a Pro Bowl caliber corner for $10 million, that is just a, a massive steal. I mean, this is a guy who can add, a, you know, a win to your football team, potentially. You just get him. That's just a huge benefit to your football team. So right off the bat, absolutely love uh, this move from Philadelphia's perspective. And I think that something like this, you know, it's interesting because we think about all this draft capital built through the draft. To some degree, they're building in other ways, right? Uh, trading for A.J. Brown and now signing uh, James Bradbury, which is, I think, a position of need and kind of one of the few things that they didn't get in this draft because they got the receiver. They wanted another defensive lineman. They got a new defensive lineman. Well, now they have uh, a star uh, corner. Maybe I'll make, maybe make a film study on just explaining more about Bradbury himself. But as a whole, uh, you know, it's a relatively low risk move. 10 million isn't nothing like that. That's a decent amount. But for the potential upside of what Bradbury brings, I think it's the right move. So that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Sorry, I look like a mess. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.